Today I'd like to talk about coordinate systems, which is one of the cool features in SynthEyes. First off, the coordinate system, you can see from the little axis in each of the different viewports exactly where each axis is going. So here we've got X going to the right, Y going up, and Z towards, which means Z coming up out of the screen towards you, the viewer. And this is a basic default Z up coordinate system. Now, different packages like Lightwave and Maya use other systems such as Y up and Y up left handed. And the thing that's cool in Synthize is it lets you change the coordinate system at any time. So I wanted to show how that happens and know what that means for you. So here's a nice little default solve that I've got set up here. And the controls are managed by two in, in two different spots. First off, on the preferences, here you'll see this little uh, drop-down box that gives you the three basic settings. And this, this sets what gets used at the uh, when a new scene is created. But for any scene that you've already got, you want to look at the scene settings dialog instead. And now if I bring that up, here's our scene setting. It's set at Z up. So let me just change that to be Y up for Maya. And now I, if you look over there, you'll see that the axes are switching back and forth as I change it. And nothing else is changing in the image. Really, the, And the key point about this is the top view always stays looking the same, the left view always stays looking the same, and the front view always stays in the same spots. So Synthize is going and adjusting the coordinates for you so that your views, the views that you can see and understand, stay the same no matter what this coordinate system is. And to show even further what's going on, let's take a look at this constrained points view. And you notice I have this one point selected here. And I'm just going to go and change its coordinates a little bit to make it easier to see what's going on. And now, let me bring that back up again. Here's on this middle line is that uh, point. And watch what happens as I change the coordinates around. You see in both of these spots and really throughout the program, all the numbers and the constraints are automatically changed around to adjust to this different coordinate axis setting. So you can be working in a Z-up coordinate system for going to max, and then if you need to talk to somebody who's using Maya, you can just quick go and switch the coordinate system without having to change anything really in your scene. And that way uh, they'll, they'll feel right at home. The exporters in Synthize do that internally. So if you go to export to Lightwave, say, it's really quickly just switching over to Lightwave's coordinate system while it does the export, and then it switches back, and all the numbers have changed around to keep Lightwave happy, but nothing has changed as far as you're concerned. So that's one of the kind of the nifty and handy features in Synthize. It does the work for you. If you need to change coordinate systems, you shouldn't be trying to do this by yourself. Let the software do the work and uh, get on with things. Thanks.